So we're going to be talking about handling semen, thawing it for use in artificial insemination. And what we have here is a what we call a straw or a unit of semen. And on each straw is uh, a number which corresponds to the particular bull you're using. In this instance, this is Basin Trendsetter. And his code number is 237. That is the AI stud code that collected him. He is a Red Angus bull, so it's 237 AR. And then his number at the, at the AI stud is 1149. So his whole code number is 237 AR 1149. So half CC, it goes into a, this is called a goblet, okay? There's two goblets on a cane, okay? The straw goes into a goblet, typically with one half cc straws. Uh, there's five straws per goblet and two goblets, so ten straws per cane. And on the top of the cane is uh, his code number 237 AR 1149. And the cane goes into what we can see here is this is a cutoff canister. So you can see and here's a full canister. Okay. And this shows how it is sitting into the, the liquid nitrogen tank. There's a great range of temperature from down here to up here. And part of the reason you want to know that is because you want to minimize the time up in this neck, because even though we're still below freezing, that change of temperature from minus 300 to almost zero can cause some damage to the, to the sperm and in the semen. So before we are going to thaw semen, we always want to make sure we have everything we need. Uh, we have a thaw bath over here. If the green light is on, I know it's roughly about 92 to 96 degrees temperature. Now, I, I never really ever completely trust that. I always have a little thermometer in the thaw bath. Ruminant semen, bull semen is pretty sensitive to changes in temperature. Um, so once it's warmed up to the right temperature, you don't want it cooling back down or you don't want it getting warmer. We also want some paper towels handy because we'll want to dry off the unit of semen. Uh, we want a scissors because we'll have to nip the end of the straw, okay? And we have a, a tweezer to c collect the straw from the tank. So for today, we have a demonstration of older bull that I'm going to be able to use. And I know it's in canister six. So let's say we, I had multiple canes in there. What I want to do first is kind of bring up the canister just far enough that I can see the cane I want and identify it. I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to grab that cane. And using that, I'm going to pull up so I can see where the units of semen. Once again, I want to minimize the time uh, that the semen is up here. Once I have the unit, I'm going to allow the canister to go back down, and then I want to put the semen in there into the thaw bath, and then I want to start my timer. And I want 45 seconds. So I want to get the unit out, and then I want to put this back in place, and then I want to store that back there so I don't lose liquid nitrogen. I want to wait 45 seconds. During that 45 seconds, I can get my sleeve on so I'm ready to go breed the cow. I'm going to have my paper towel ready to clean, to dry it off. I'm going to have my scissors ready. I'm going to have a sheath ready. Okay. I'm going to use uh, my yellow gun here. I got 45 seconds. So I'm going to take the unit of semen out, put it in a paper towel, dry it off, and I can clip the end here. Okay, or I can load the gun. Load the gun there and then clip it. And then I want my sheath. I load it onto my sheath. And once again, this is the push on there and it's, it's set. And so I'm ready. And so one of two things I can do now 
Um, if I have an AI gun warmer and I use that to take it and go over to, to breed the cow, I can, I can slip it in, back into there and keep it at 95 degrees. If I don't have one of these, what a lot of people will do is go ahead and wrap up the unit and then put it inside their shirt to keep it warm, okay? So one of those two things you can do to keep it warm on your way to breed the cow, okay? Now, some people will ask, uh, well, how many units of semen can I put in there at a time? Uh, my suggestion is no more than four or five. And it kind of depends on how quickly or where the cows are at. Um, I, I want them in the water bath a minimum of 45 seconds uh, and a maximum of 15 minutes. So a maximum of 15 minutes from taking it from the tank into the water bath into the cow. The very last thing I always do is after breeding the cow and before discarding the sheath with the straw in it, I always want to verify that I used the correct wool for the cow I was artificially inseminating.